number one thing I tell my 18 year old self is Ty, nobody knows anything. There's a few people. I met like 20 people in my life that I think really know what they were talking about. 20. And I've met a lot of people. Yeah. And the other people are 80% right and 20% wrong. And that 20% they're wrong since you don't know which part is wrong. They're a hundred percent misleading. Right. It's probably your parents. Mm-hmm. It's probably your religious leaders. It's probably your teachers. I didn't say they're not good people. I always think of that story, you know, there's a father and his son taking the donkey to town to sell some stuff. And the father's riding on the donkey and the son's walk. People walk by. And they hear they overhear him gossiping. Oh, what a rude father. He's a strong man. He makes his little son walk. So that the father felt bad, gets off the donkey. The son gets on the donkey. Some people walk by. They're like, look at this disrespectful son. Makes his father walk. So the father and the son get off the donkey and they're both walking. And then some people walk by. Look at these morons. They got a donkey and nobody <laughs> rides it. <laughs> What's stupid? So they both get on the donkey. Some people walk by. It's PETA. Animal rights. They're like, they're abusing the animal. So the father and the son finally arrive to the town and they're walking across the bridge and they're carrying the donkey, but it's a little too heavy. And all three of them fall off the bridge and die. And the moral of the Aesop's fable is you can't please all the people all the time. And you got to be careful that you don't die 